Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make water breathing, you know, time drills, water, well, sorry, water breathing from, you know, Demon Slayer and stuff. Uh, I just made two moves because this is part one, as you can tell by the title, this is part one and stuff. Uh, if you guys enjoy, if you guys enjoy the attacks and stuff and you guys want me to make more, make more attacks, like, you know, dead calm, like a regular water slash attack, maybe like a Hinokame Kagura type attack, you know, stuff like that. But it's not really water. Is that water? Yeah, anyway, <clears throat> if you guys want me to do more stuff like that, let me know in the comments. Uh, you can tell me. You can also tell me by leaving a like on the video. So if you enjoy the video, of course, subscribe and like for more content. Uh, thank you guys once again for 2,000 subscribers. It's literally it's been only two days since I hit 2,000 subscribers, and I'm already I'm like 30 subscribers away from two 2.1k. And stuff so it's just like i really do appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing everyone in my discord server and my subscribers my discord subscribers my channel members i appreciate each and every one of you and yeah let's get straight into it okay so first things first let's go ahead and knock out the remote event okay so simply head on over to replicated storage insert a remote event if you don't see remote event type remote event click it once you have it inserted name it sort of event you could also name it water breathing event, but I was thinking more so I because I'm going to do like multiple different like for anyone wondering, I am going to do like like different breathing arts. Like I'm going to do uh, I'm doing water breathing. Next up, I'm going to do flame breathing. Definitely going to do thunder breathing. Uh, maybe maybe look into sound breathing. Um, probably missed as well. Probably missed as well. And yeah, I haven't seen the other ones because I'm just an, I'm an anime only watcher. So I haven't seen the other Hashira stuff. But anyway. So then in server storage, you guys already know, I have a folder called water breathing. This is, you could also name it like effects, like water breathing effects. This is where I hold all my effects and stuff, right? I'll just show you guys what they look like real quick. I mean, if you guys saw the short, the YouTube short I posted on Saturday, or if you're in my Discord server, you already seen it. So these are what the effects look like. I know, like, yeah, no, honestly, very nice. Like, especially like this, like the, like the, uh, white, uh, the white little effects and stuff like that. No. That looks just like how you footable, like they animate Demon Slayer. Like, no, the person who made this definitely a very nice job and stuff. You guys already know I did not make these model. I mean, I did not make these particles, effects, whatever you want to call it and stuff. I simply got it from the toolbox. Um, I will leave a link in the description so you guys can get these models. Um, as for what I, cause I did change some couple, a couple of things with them. So like I said, you put the models inside of the uh, folder, right? Um, okay. So pretty much like this, I'm going to open up both models and explain what I did, but this is off of memory. Cause I've, cause I adjusted these models, modified these models like last night or maybe the day before. So I don't really remember. So if you get the models from a uh, toolbox and you see that and you see something looks different, just change it to match mine. Okay. So I have all the foam handle parts. So make sure all of these parts, right? Make sure all of these parts, one, um, you don't want them to be anchored, right? You don't want them to be anchored. The reason for that is because uh, you want you want the attack to move with the player. Like, say if the player is moving, because honestly, this is a really cool attack. Like, if a player is moving and then like they're like creating like a tide effect, like a like a like a circle slash around themselves and stuff. So you don't want any of these parts to be anchored, nor do you want can collide to be on, right? So that that goes for all these parts. You could just select all them uh make sure can collide and anchored is not enabled and then what you want to do is you want to have weld constraints i'm pretty sure you guys know how to weld if you don't understand what how weld welding works you simply insert a weld constraint right part zero is the parent of the weld so in this case part zero would be this because the weld constraint is parented to this foam handler part and then part one is what you know you're welding you guys see it's welded together so for this model i welded all i literally welded all of the parts like all of the foam handler parts to the main part, which is the water slash. That is the part in the middle. So simply just use weld constraints to weld it together. By welding it together, you allow the attack to stay together while also moving alongside, like moving with the player. So the attack won't stay in one place. It'll move with the player and it'll all stay together. And yeah, that's all you have to do there. Um, as for the waterfall basin attack, you guys see it's uh, just a part. Then it has these attachments. Um, so as for this, I put a seat and stuff. If you guys seen my spawner videos, you should know. Here's how I get the attacks to face certain directions. You can insert a seat simply by just, you know, click seat. Now some properties. You want to make sure the seat is invisible. Can't collide is... Oh, actually, oh, sorry. You actually want to make sure can collide is not on. I forgot to actually turn that off. So make sure can collide is off. Um, 
you can leave the seat to be anchored. You can leave the seat uh, to be anchored because that doesn't really matter. Because, yeah, if the attack can move with the player, that doesn't really matter because it's already in the right position. And make sure the seat is disabled because you obviously don't want players to use the seat. The seat is simply just to control the direction of it, right? Because you guys know what models, if you try to spawn a model in and stuff, it won't always be in the same direction. So here's how you get it. You, one, this only works with models. Like, don't try to put this inside of a part. Like you see how this is inside of a part, but the part is apparent to a model. Like it ha that has to be like that for this to work. So you could just rotate the part until when you play test, uh, the model is in the right direction you want. Um, I'll put, I'll show you guys the the orientation and right here, so you guys can rotate it and stuff uh, exactly how I did it, and then hopefully it works for you. But yeah, and then I had a world constraints. Um. Wait, what did I even use? Actually, I didn't even need this. I, I didn't honestly need this. So, yeah, you don't, yeah, for this, you don't really need to do much welding. I think I deleted some things from here, but you guys should be able to tell the difference and stuff. But, yeah. So, yeah. That's all the model effects. You can really just ignore that if you're, if, yeah, if you're using your own models, you probably have to change some things with the scripts, but that's really it. So, once you do that, make sure they're all parented, all your effects are parented to a folder and put that folder in server storage, right? Then, of course, I have my little sound effect. You guys can listen real quick. That's my little water breathing sound effect, you know, kind of like a water slash effect, right? Um, you can get those sounds from going to the toolbox. As you can see, I was looking for flame breathing stuff. That's on the next video I'm working on. Uh, if you go to audio, you could just type water breathing. As you guys can see, I've been looking, I've been looking things up. If you type water breathing, it's yeah, right here, this one. You can get the ID. I mean, you can click the sound and then insert it and put it in sound service. And then, yeah, right. And then we can get into the actual scripting. Okay, so this is the regular Roblox Classic Sword, right? Like, if I zoom in on it, this is the regular Roblox Classic Sword. Also, a little side tip, it's kind of off topic, but um, if you ever are trying to find where a specific part is, or, or really anything in the workspace and stuff, you can click it and then press F, just a little, just it, like, this is a very useful thing. I use it a lot. I was very grateful when I figured this out. But yeah, just press F while it's selected in, and it'll take you straight to it. But anyway, so this is just the regular Roblox sword you get from going to, you know, the toolbox, going to models, you just type sword, and then you'll see right here, the name is sword, but y'all know, y'all know the real name is like classic sword, right? And then you would put it, you would put your sword model. You don't have to use this sword model though. You'd put your sword model in starter pack. And now that we've gotten the preliminary stuff out the way, we can go ahead and get into the actual scripting. And honestly, it's not even that much scripting. I'm not even going to hold y'all. It's not that much scripting. So let's get straight into it. Let's insert a local script into the classic sword. You guys can call this water breathing, water breathing script. Then you can delete print hello world. Let me zoom out a little, a little bit. So we're going to make four variables. First things first, let's get our services. So let's get the user input service, local UIS is equal to game, get service, user input service. Then let's get the sword remote event. So local sword event is equal to game that replicated storage, wait for child, sword event. Then let's get, then let's, um, what's the name? Let's make a, sorry, no, let's not get, let's make a cooldown variable so local cooldown i'm gonna start making cooldown uh i'm start implementing cooldowns in my videos because a lot of people ask me i mean i thought it was kind of given on how to make a cooldown but i guess not so i'm gonna just start implementing it in my videos where i just show you guys how to make cooldowns with each attack so yeah you can have your cooldown variable you can set it to false and then we can set up our function we're gonna do uis dot input begin connect function in parentheses put input comma process remember process is how we check if whether or not the player is currently typing in chat or if they're just pressing the key regularly then we go ahead and press enter we can say if input dot user input type is equal to enum dot user input type dot keyboard and cooldown is equal to false the player is not that means the player is not a cooldown and processed is equal to false which means the player has pressed a key on the keyboard. They are not currently on cooldown and they are not typing in chat. They are just pressing the key regularly. Then we're going to use two more if statements. Next up, we're going to say if play. Oh, sorry. That's why I needed. I knew I needed the local player variable. Okay, sorry guys, I forgot a variable, but I knew I need, I knew I need another variable. So you just press enter and just put it right in between sort of ending cooldown. So local player, let's get the local player. Game dot players dot local player. I knew I needed this for something. I just couldn't remember, but anyway. So I'm gonna say if player dot character find first child script dot parent dot name. Now let me explain this. The idea is that the local script should be parented directly to the sword, right? Because this won't work unless it's parented directly to the sword and stuff, right? This is to ensure, like you're to check pretty much that the player is like, you know, they're trying to 
use use a, a you could say a breathing art or just generally an, a skill attack whatever while they have the sword equipped because obviously you wouldn't want you wouldn't want a player to be able to use use the attacks if they don't have the sword equipped so this is just ensuring that the you know that the sword is equipped All right and then you could just press enter on that then for our last if statement we're going to say if input that key code is equal to enum that key code that e. here's how we set up the uh different uh, different abilities so i'm gonna just do else if after skipping a line else if input that key code is equal to enum that key code and i'm gonna do r dot or dot r i guess you could say um and then oh i forgot press enter and then you guys can change the key binds to whatever you want as always and stuff i'm just going with the e and r that's not wrong but anyway <laughs> um first things first of course we set the cooldown variable equal to true because it means you know we're now on cooldown, then I'm going to fire their mode event, so sword event, fire server. We need to differentiate between the different events, so pretty much the different attacks. So first attack will be water wheel, right? So in quotation marks, just put water wheel, then enter, and then task dot wait. Then duration for this duration, this is the cooldown duration. How long do you want your attack to be on cooldown for? That is pretty much how that's pretty much how long you you would make this and stuff. If you want it to be two seconds in between each breathing art, put two seconds, right? For me, I'm just gonna put zero point one because I don't want to delay because I want to be able to just demonstrate both attacks just straight up to you guys and stuff. Especially if I'm trying to troubleshoot if I type something wrong. So yeah, but you guys can change that to whatever you want. And then at the end, of course, you're gonna say cooldown is equal to false because after this time has passed, uh, that means the player is no longer on cooldown. Then as always, you guys already know what's up. We can copy and paste. Select it, control C or press copy up here. Go right here, press control V or you can press paste. And then all you got to do is just change the name of the event. So for this, it's waterfall basin. I know that might be conf well. I mean, if you're a demon slayer fan, you should understand. Pretty much, it's the waterfall attack. Like you know, you just kind of like you just it. It's complicated to explain, but it's just like a waterfall. <laughs> That's pretty much to put it simply. And like I said, it's not much scripting. We are already done with the local script. We can go ahead and move on to the server script. Let's insert a server script into server script service. We can go ahead and name this script water breathing script oh my it actually seems like i forgot something so in parentheses put server i forgot to put local here i mean not the big of a deal really you guys don't really yeah you guys don't have to do this there's just some not just to differentiate between the scripts but let's delete print hello world get a couple of variables to make first let's get our services of course local ds is equal to game get service debris you know the debris service very useful then i'm gonna get the sound service is equal to game get service sound service then i'm going to get the sword remote event so local sword event as equal to game that replicated storage wait for child sword event then i'm going to get the water breathing model or like the water breathing folder i should say is equal to game that server storage wait for child water breathing right then i'm gonna put a space in between and i'm gonna get right with my animations first things first is the water wheel so local water wheel animation is equal to instance dot new animation then i'm going to say water wheel animation that animation id is sorry equal to quotation marks rbx asset id colon two forward slashes then here you would put your animation id i already got mine you would just put yours here uh heads up these animations only work for r15 not r6 so yeah i recommend using your own uh animation ids then uh, you guys already know what's up we can copy and paste Control c Control v then just change the name to waterfall basin animation then i can copy and paste this here and then i can get my other id and then paste this right here right and then just like that i have all my variables set up now i can get into the actual function i can say sort event dot on server events connect function in parentheses put plr for sure for the player then attack type right i usually go with event type but since they're all attacks you know it just makes sense to do it like this First things first, let's go ahead and get the character variable because I'm going to need that on all the attacks. So it's equal to player dot character. Then I'm going to differentiate uh, each attack with if statements. So if attack type is equal to water wheel go on the outside, press enter. Then I'm going to say local water wheel clone is equal to water breathing dot water wheel clone then i'm going to set some properties i'm going to say water will clone pivot to keep in mind this is because it is a model that's why i'm that's why i'm doing pivot to character dot humanoid root part 
dot c frame then i'm then i'm going to parent it to the workspace so water will clone dot parent is equal to game dot workspace then i'm going to say water will clone dot water slash dot weld constraint this is this is where the welding comes to play or oh my god i just i'm so stupid uh now i just remember now i just remember guys okay i just remembered in water okay i just remembered actually wait yeah i just remembered why there's a uh why i had a weld constraint in here okay so if you deleted it uh insert it back for waterfall basin and make sure part zero is waterfall basin i just remembered why why i have this here so part one is going to be the characters human and root part when i get to that at attack i'm going to make part one via the script i'm going to make part one uh equal to the uh characters human and root part that's why i had that i forgot but anyway i'm going to say is equal to character that humanoid root part right so it's pretty much you could say well literally it's welded together then i'm gonna set up the animation track so local water will at animation track for short is equal to character that humanoid load animation then water you know water wheel animation then i'm going to play the animation water will animation play i'm going to say ss dot water breathing play i'm also playing sound effect i'm going to scroll down a little bit then for the last bit i'm going to say ds which is the debris service add item then i'm going to say water wheel clone then for time i'm going to put one second you guys can mess around with the debris times and stuff you know for however long you want it to be until it destroys so you guys can mess around with those times to get you know your desired result and stuff now let's let, let's finish the second attack and we're done Let's do else if attack type is equal to waterfall basin, enter, and as you guys already know, <laughs> great, great thing, we can copy and paste a lot of this. We can really just copy and paste this, control C, control V, but we gotta change, we gotta change things a little, we gotta do things a little bit differently, but, but pretty, pretty much pretty simple. So first things first, of course I'm gonna clone it, so I'm gonna say waterfall basin clone, right? And then I'm going to retrieve it from the wrong thing. I'm going to retrieve it from the folder, right? Let's just ignore the red real quick. Let's copy and paste the track portion, right? And then we're going to put, we're going to play the track before I set the properties. I'm just going to have it cloned. So I'm going to say waterfall basin AT. And then I can rename this. Make sure you change the animation, waterfall basin animation, right? And then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna say I'm gonna put a weight in between task that way zero point I'm sorry zero point five like I said you guys can mess around with the time see see what you like and that and then now I'm gonna set the properties so I can copy and paste this here and then I'm gonna set the properties so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um what's the name I'm gonna set the world constraint so I'm gonna set the world constraint so waterfall basin on it should just be dot weld dot oh no dot weld yeah, 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 yeah. I know it was tripping. So you want to do this first. So control C and then just control V like you know like just just make it make it first. Then I'm gonna pivot it. But the difference is I'm going to I'm gonna move with like its exact positioning because we want this to be in an exact position where like the player is in middle is in the middle of the ring. It'll make sense when you guys see it. Just remember it's like a kind of like it's kind of like a spinning ring if that makes sense. I'm going to say C frame dot new similar to my car tutorial. So negative 0 0.5 comma negative one, negative one. Right. And then lastly, parent to the workspace. And then I'm going to also play the sound effects. Uh, I can, I can really leave this up here. I can, I can leave that up there. And as for the last thing, I'm just going to destroy it after 0 0.8 seconds this time and then change the name. And just like that, guys, we are done. Let's go ahead and test to see if everything works. As always, if you guys want access to the script and model, you guys can become either a Discord subscriber or you can become a channel member. Links to join my Roblox group in Discord can be found in the description. Um, you guys should for sure join. The Discord is almost at 600 members. Thank you guys so much for <laughs> just joining and stuff. Really appreciate it. You guys should for sure join. You guys can request video ideas, get help. And become a Discord subscriber, like you know, so for sure join up. So let's go ahead and test. Let's press E. Okay, and something is there's something wrong. Let's see, let's see. Water wheel and oh see. There's something wrong. I did water animation play instead of 
water wheel animation track. Remember, guys, you can't play an animation. You can play an animation track. Let me try to do the same thing here. Okay, I did it right down there. All right. So now let's test and see. But you know, it's a little little issue. Get that resolved. So I press E. Okay, as you guys can see, the animation plays. You guys see the effects. You hear the sounds and stuff. If you wanted to, like I said, if you wanted to last a little bit longer, you can simply just. You can simply just. Damn, my brain just went. <laughs> if you, okay, sorry, my brain just went blank. But anyway, if you want to last longer, increase this time. That's pretty much. That's pretty much it. And then, um, as for second ability, you can press R. You got. I think you guys understand what I'm saying now. I wanted the player to be, you know, in the middle. You, you get what I'm saying? Like how my player's in the middle. Like, it's in, you know, like how I'm in the middle. And then, you know, we want it to be like under our feet. Under our feet. I mean, I could move my player a little bit higher, maybe. You know. Well, no, that's the animation and stuff, so I can't really change that. But yeah. Anyway, it looks nice and stuff. I didn't include damage in this. Just wanted to generally just do water breathing and stuff i'm just trying out some new things for the channel seeing what people like if y'all like this let me know leave a like on the video leave a comment dm me on discord i don't care is if i appreciate all the love and support you guys so um if you guys want part two let me know i can do a part two i can clean up the script optimize it to be a little better i can include damage we can add some more moves on y'all let me know it all is based on how many likes the video gets how much reviews the video gets and i'll continue the series expect ex uh videos to expect coming out uh how to make consecutive sword slashes consecutive sword i mean consecutive punches fps game how to make an fps game part two and working on flame breathing maybe jjk's uh what is that thing called again what is that what is that, what is that thing what's that shit called again jjk JJK, JJK. what is that thing called I, th I think like if you're a jjk fan i think you know what i'm talking about like the Oh, Black Flash, yes, it's Black Flash, yeah, yeah, but yeah, anyway, uh, like I said, if you guys want access to the scripts or model, any of my other scripts or models, you guys can become a channel member or a Discord subscriber, leave a comment, I would love if you want help with that, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, yeah, thank you guys for watching.